Hello and welcome to this Newsmax special presentation on a medical revolution happening right before our eyes. That's right, we are talking about genetic testing and it's one of the hottest trends in medicine right now. The process has come a long way since doctors James Watson, Francis Crick, and Rosalind Franklin discovered the double helix structure of the DNA, cracking the code for the human genome back in 1953. Today, thanks to genetic testing, we have entered a new frontier of science and discovery. Joining us now to talk more about it is one of the leaders of the genetic testing movement, and that is Dr. Michael Nova. He is Chief Innovation Officer at Pathway Genomics. Good to have you on, Doctor. Thank you, it's my pleasure. So, Dr. Nova is the inventor of Pathways Ohm. It's a mobile application and it merges deep learning and cognitive computing with precision medicine and genetics. The application, basically it empowers patients by providing them with actionable, personalized health and wellness information. Dr. Nova is also the architect of the wellness test that Pathway Genomics offers. His scientific career began as a research associate at the famous Salk Institute where he studied genetics and he also studied cell proteins and their functions of human growth factors and cancers. Pretty amazing. It's good to have Dr. Nova with us. And let's start with this question, Dr. Nova. What intrigued you so much to focus on genetics as your medical specialty? Well, I think, um, in, uh, you know, after, after uh, the um, uh, double helix, uh, you know, was, was, was finally figured out by, by Watson and Crick, and you learned about that in grade school. And so, um, you know, when I was growing up, you know, we didn't, we didn't know a lot about how the DNA worked. We didn't know necessarily, you know, what, what proteins were, were being expressed or being made by the DNA. So it was this kind of whole flowering of, of all the science coming together at once that for me was really intriguing. And now it's become a real tool with all the instrumentation that we have and the way that we can isolate DNA. Um, it's now become much more of a, a, a commoditized tool. Yeah, it's just incredible. So Pathway Genomics is one of the most respected genetic testing companies. Can you tell us about the company's history and work and how you've been able to distinguish yourselves in this very pretty much hyper competitive field nowadays? Yeah, we were one of the first ones. Um, we were founded in 2009, and uh, we started out with our own clinical laboratory. We built our own lab to do genetic testing, and we do every type of genetic test. We do cancer genetic testing. We do wellness genetic testing. Some of our tests are ordered by physicians. Um, other tests are ordered direct to consumer. You can go down to the CVS and, and buy, buy our test kits. And so the evolution of, of this entire process when we got started was is that there was that the, to, to be fair there was not a lot of clinical validity around some of the 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 the, the more common you know types of genetics especially when related to common diseases as as the science has progressed over the last you know decade or so there's just been a lot more clinical trials and a lot more clinical information that we can relate now back to your, to an individual's genetics where you can make you know a really good um, actionable uh, uh, assumptions and outcomes, you know, based, you can tell somebody basically, you know, potentially that this food element is probably going to be better for you or that drug is probably going to be better for you. So it's become really much more personalized because the clinical data has just gotten a lot better since, since when we started. And we've been there the longest probably with the wellness test um, that we've done, uh, you know, the most, the most people um, uh, after, you know, after other companies that do Ancestry, we don't do Ancestry testing, we do really health and wellness. Now you mentioned the genetic testing, the Ancestry of it, but the popularity of this testing has exploded, but talk to us specifically about Pathways tests and how they go far beyond just learning about, say, your family history. Yeah, so well, we're interested really in healthcare and, you know, particularly in wellness. And again, as I mentioned, we do a lot of different types of genetic tests. We do sequencing, you know, based cancer tests like BRCA tests for breast cancer. And then we also do wellness tests. We do banks of genes, um, you know, 80 or 90 genes. And we look at, you know, you know how, how these genes are mutated in an individual. And then by developing algorithms, you know, we can, and, and linking that to the clinical data, we can basically tell you, you know, that, you know, potentially this type of diet is better for you than something else, or this drug, you know, probably is going to work more than, than something else. So we're really in the healthcare area, you know, and rather than focusing on ancestry. 
Um, ancestry is certainly important, but it's just not one of the tests that we've been focusing on. Yeah, you know, some people might be a little apprehensive, though, when it comes to learning about the whole truth, when it comes to, you know, his or her genetics. Talk to us about the process and why people shouldn't be fearful of it, because it is still relatively new. Yeah, it is relatively new. I mean, it's when it really comes down to it, it, it really started booming about about five, you know, five to ten years ago. Uh, but you know, the, the the information that we provide, and we try very hard to provide not just risk information about something. You know, you're it's it, for, especially for common diseases like cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes, you know, things like that. Giving you a risk score is something that really isn't of that in, much interest to a user. What a user wants is to know that. Yes, you might have you know, some genes that link you to some you know, common diseases or obesity. What do I do about it, right? So we're in the business of translating that genetic information into really actionable things to do. So we tell you that you should be doing this exercise, or we tell you you should be on that drug, or we, you know, we, we, we use the information to give you really concrete recommendations. And that makes us really you know, fairly different than, than a lot of other genetic testing companies. All right, let's get into some specifics here. You've been focused, of course, on genetic testing and how it relates to curing diseases. Let's take a look at some of these specialized areas that you just mentioned in a little bit more detail where Pathway is making headway. Yeah, let's uh, go to heart health. You kind of touched on that a little bit. Pathway yeah. offers something called Cardiac DNA Insight. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that's a that that that's um, a kind of a specialized test that deals mostly with um, with you know issues around cardiovascular health. If you talk to any cardiovascular you know specialist or in the public health arena, about eighty to ninety percent of all cardiovascular disease is probably preventable, and it's preventable around you know very basic things. Um, you know, a change in diet or more exercise or things like that. So what we've done is combined those kind of genetic information, that kind of genetic information around diet, exercise, eating behaviors, along with some information around pharmacogenetics, where we look at metabolism of warfarin or, or, or how a, blood, uh, a beta blocker is going to work for blood pressure. And so we're able to combine basically elements of a wellness test along with um, you know, elements of a, what we call a pharmacogenetic test to, that if you do have elevated blood pressure or you do need to be on an anticoagulant, we can put you either on the right potential dose or put you on the right drug. Let's talk about cancer now. Pathway has tests that can gauge the yeah. risk of colon cancer, breast cancer. You talked about these, but talk about why these tests, and again, a little bit right. more detail on why this information and how this information can be used when patients go to their doctors and they come up with a treatment plan. Yeah, so for BRCA test is a very well characterized test. It was, you know, it's the Angelina Jolie test, basically that if you're in a certain sub, you know, ethnic population, Ashkenazi Jewish to begin with, and you've got breast cancer and you know, it runs in your family, um, you, you know, you probably should be tested for the BRCA mutation. This BRCA mutation is a very good marker for predicting, you know, the potential of 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 a patient, you know, to, to get breast cancer. It's not 100% absolute, but it just is a potential. And the same thing is true with our colon test. You know, the the markers for colon cancer um, in 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 this in this one particular test, the sequencing test that we use are are pretty good. And um, and so we give you know information to the user about you know their risk of of getting either colon cancer or breast cancer. Along with your physician, you can use this information to, to devise a treatment plan. And sometimes a treatment plan might mean you, you know you don't do anything, or sometimes a treatment plan you can, you know the the individual elects to, to have some surgical procedure. So we talked about heart disease. We touched on cancer. I want to talk about another big issue that we hear so much about these days, and that is about the complications and and just devastating problems that can come with pain medication, either prescribing the wrong medicine yeah. or the wrong combination of medications. Talk to us, doctor, about pain medication DNA insight and how that can improve a patient's outcome, say um, after knee surgery or just really any type of injury. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's a, a very specialized test. Again, a pharmacogenetic test that we sell um, or, or we provide for physicians order only. That's not a direct-to-consumer test. And basically, we look at receptors for things like opioids and, and ibuprofen and some other pain medications. And we determine based, you know, based on your genetics or your mutations or how you, how you metabolize 
um, you know, opioids or, or, or other drugs, we can basically say, well, maybe you should potentially not be on that particular medication, but you should be on something else. Or maybe you should be on a little lower dose of something, you know, versus, versus something else. So, and it's used by many different groups, you know, as you can imagine, it's used by primary care physicians, it's used by anesthesiologists, you know, we have a wide range of physicians that order that test. Millions of Americans are turning to genetics. Pathway offers a way for you to take this to the next level. We're going to continue talking to Dr. Michael Nova about this. In the meantime, you can find out more about Pathway by going to Pathway.com. Their tests are available at CVS, at Walmart, and on Amazon.com. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to this Newsmax special focusing on the rapid rise of genetic testing in America. Now, according to a recent report, some 12 million Americans have submitted their DNA for genealogy tests. I admit, I'm one of them. But that number is expected to increase exponentially thanks in part to new genetic tests that focus on your health and wellness. Polar aspect of this. Joining us now is one of the pioneers in the field, Dr. Michael Nova. He's a chief innovation officer at Pathway Genomics. Pathway is on the cutting edge of genetic testing. And thanks for being with us and sticking around with us, Dr. Nova. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Well, we've discussed ways you can heal your body by looking at genetics in the areas of heart health, cancer, and even pain management. Let's talk about some other kinds of prevention, health uh, aspect, uh, health focused prevention, that is fitness. Right. I specifically want to focus on Americans' costly o um, obesity epidemic. Take a look at this. 37% sure. of U.S. adults are obese. Obesity medical costs have reached $147 billion, and that was in 2008. That's the most recent numbers we could find. And medical costs for obese people are $1,400 higher than for the normal American who is of the average weight. Wow, that's a lot. So we always hear folks say, you know, it's my genes that make me fat. We're not talking about genes like genes you wear. We're talking right. about genes. No. So uh, would you agree with that? Is that a good excuse? Well, I, I, I think yeah, it is in some respects because obesity um, has a very strong hereditary component, anywhere between 40 to 60 percent. It tends to run in families. So we know that there's a lot of genetics involved in you know, increasing BMI, and the genetics involve many different things from how you metabolize lipids, you know, how you metabolize carbohydrates, even how you think about food. You know, do you have eating disinhibition, there's a gene for that. You know, do you have, say, you know, do you get full or not full? So it's kind of a combination of a lot of different things that will, you know, the average person that if he, that if he has kind of a combination of many of these, you know, different, different genes, and he's put in an environment where there's a lot of, cal, you know, low, uh, high caloric, you know, low, low nutrition types of foods, probably has a tendency to be overweight compared to somebody else. So it's kind of a combination of genetics in your environment. Hmm. Well, Pathway has a couple of options for people concerned about their overall obesity, their overall fitness levels as well. Tell us about Fit IQ and how Pathway Fit uh, help us with our understanding, help us learn more about our DNA and how we can learn about how our body reacts to certain kinds of foods and certain exercises as well. Yeah, this is probably the most comprehensive um, well or nutrition wellness exercise test that, that that's available, and we sell it through physicians' orders, and also uh, there's a direct to cons consumer version. And what we do is we there's seven major categories in there. We look at about 80 different genes and the mutations in these genes, and then um, there, we have an algorithm that 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 basically if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, we put you in either the low fat or low, low carbohydrate bucket, you know, based on your genetics or Mediterranean diet. And then we give you a, an actual diet plan. You know, we give you information about what you should eat, literally eat on a daily basis based around either a low carb diet or a vegetarian low carb diet. We have many different diet plans. We have dietitians on staff. We have, you know, clinical nutritionists. We have MDs. So the, the user has access to all that. So it's not just the genetic test. It's also follow-on you know, information. We also have a virtual coaching um, uh, program with virtual health partners actually here in New York. Um, so you bring all that together and it's a very comprehensive program you know, to, to treat you know, or to help patients to try and lose weight. Yeah. Um, there's plenty of people though, you know, there's plenty of people that also use the test in order to gain weight because they're, they, they, they need a, a higher caloric load. Mm -hmm. They're maybe triathletes or something like that. So we've dialed in you know, the, the genetics around improved performance as well. Well, speaking of diet, certain sensitivities and allergies can also have a huge impact on your overall health. We hear a lot about gluten these days. It can somewhat be this kind of hidden yeah. culprit mm -hmm. because some people don't even know that it's having an impact 
on their health until they actually take this test. So tell us about gluten fit. Yeah, gluten fit is basically a, a, um, a genetic test that, that looks at the very common markers for a disease called, it's called celiac disease. And about one to 2% of the US population kind of falls in that bucket of celiac where you're really, you know, making, you're really um, immune, not immune, but you're really reacting towards gluten, you know, based on um, how your immune system uh, is working. And so uh, the, the genes for celiac disease are so well known that 100% of the people with celiac disease do have mutations in, in their genetics. And so we, we look at those, the, those genes and kind of help determine whether you've got what, you know, you've got the immune response you know, that is related to, to celiac disease or um, gluten, uh, gluten sensitivity. It's kind of basically just general gluten sensitivity. Well, millions of Americans are turning to genetics. Pathway offers a way for you to take this to the next level. As you've been hearing, we're going to continue to talk to Dr. Michael Nova about this subject. In the meantime, mm -hmm. you can find out more about them by going to Pathway.com. Their tests are also available at CVS, Walmart, Amazon. And we'll be right back. And welcome back to this Newsmax special focusing on the rapid rise of genetic testing here in America. And we continue our conversation now with Dr. Michael Nova, Chief Innovation Officer and founder of Pathway Genomics, one of the companies on the cutting edge of genetic testing. Now, Dr. Nova, we talked about genetic testing and how it can help people lead healthier lives. Now, there are tests for your heart to check your cancer risk, even certain types of tests that deal with dieting and fitness. But what about the mind? How can genetic testing help there? Well, again, yeah, we have, uh, what's interesting is there's a lot of genes that are involved in human behaviors and um, basically, you know, how you think about things or do you get depressed often and do you have anxiety, you know, do you have insomnia, there's, you know, all these kind of uh, genetic components to that. And we're starting to be able to tease out the information around the mutations and, and that look at whether you're susceptible to certain things like that, you know. Um, mind health, you know, if, if you will. And in fact, in, um, in, our, in our Pathway Fit test, one of the most popular sections of it is what we call eating behaviors. And um, the clinicians get a lot of use out of that because we do look at things like eating disinhibition and, and we look at, 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 at sweet taste and, and sweet tooth and, and other things that have, you know, insatiety, fullness, um, other things that have, 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 have genes going on in, you know, in your mind, so to speak. Um, that, that make you susceptible to, to certain things. And there's also anxiety, um, there's also you know, sleep, you know, th those are very important um, as well when it comes to the mind. So doctor, it's not just about testing for the right medication, but you actually have examples of people who right. have saved a lot of money on mm -hmm. prescription drugs because the mental health DNA insight test can cut down you know, on the guesswork when it comes to combinations of medications and dosages. Explain how this works. Yeah, we, yeah that, that's another physician's order test. And so we look at a whole range of antidepressants, antipsychotics, uh, mood elevators. And uh, the common theme behind all of these drugs is, is a lot of them are metabolized in your liver. And based on the genes that are called cytochromes in your liver, we can tease out whether you're going to be a, a better metabolizer or your drug's going to work better um, with, with those particular cytochromes in your liver versus something else. And we make the port very simple. It's, it, you know, it's a page up front. It lists all the drugs, and basically it's red, you know, it's red, <laughs> yellow, and, and, and blue. Blue means, yes, this drug's probably going to work for you. Red means it probably isn't, and then, you know, yellow somewhere in between. So the clinician has just a very good snapshot of, of all, all these, you know, different types of drugs. And depending on what he's trying to treat, he can just kind of mix and match what he thinks is going to work a little bit better. Because now what people do for antidepressants is you go in and see a doctor, and they just automatically put you on an antidepressant that he thinks might work and if it doesn't work you know you come back in six weeks and then they put you on another one this kind of eliminates a lot of that guesswork yeah one specific group that could really benefit from this are military veterans suffering from PTSD in fact a report by Newsweek in late 2017 found that more than 400 combat veterans and other military personnel have died suddenly after being over medicated with PTSD cocktails talk about how genetic testing can help with this crisis Dr. Nova yeah, there's two issues there. There's there's actual genes now that have been teased out that make you know certain people susceptible to more PTSD and 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 have more symptoms. So that's that's kind of useful. And then there's also 
um, you know, we can, we can use our, you know, mental health test, if you will, to dial in the correct medications, you know, the antidepressants and some of the other, the mood elevators and combinations of things that people use to treat PTSD in a much more precise manner. So the whole idea is to, is to personalize the medication and personalize the treatments so you're not guessing at, at the combinations of drugs that you can use. Well, another area that Pathway focuses on is skin health. Now, according to a recent report yeah. that I just happened to read on Huffington Post, the average American woman spends eight dollars a day <laughs> on skincare. Eight, eight dollars. But hey, did I, just for her face, John, <laughs> and it might take some time for people, you know, women or men, to find you know that right combination. Am I normal? Am I oily? Am I right. combo? Uh, but but it's a big deal. So talk to us about how genetic testing can help in this department. Yeah, skincare is the only business that's totally recession-proof, I understand. Um, and so what we do is we look at, we have a test called Skin Fit, and you can buy this over the counter too, and we look at things like photo, the genes of photoaging, the genes, do, you know, do you get more wrinkles, you know, are you susceptible to, um, you know, having, you know, greater acne or pigmented spots. There's a, there's a whole range of things that we look at. Hydration, do you, are you susceptible, do you have, you know, the genetics to make your skin drier? Xerosis, you know, things like that. And then what we do is we, if you do have, uh, you know, certain genes, we recommend certain ingredients that might help you, you know, with that issue. And then we also recommend the products that those ingredients are in. So it's a very comprehensive test. Um, and it's, uh, it's very popular, especially, uh, you know, among PCPs or primary care physicians that, that are doing a little bit of uh, skin care on the side. Yeah. Well, lastly, Dr. Nova, I understand that you see a future of artificial intelligence and genetic testing merging. Tell us more sure. about that. Yeah, so a part of our, what our company, you know, we have a very strong artificial intelligence group, and, and part of the deal is to, is to make you know, artificial intelligence useful for the average user you know, by linking in a genetic test and a lot of other healthcare data like an electronic healthcare record, what you ate, you know, your Fitbit information, and then using AI technology to grind through all that information, and then on a dynamic basis tell you what to eat or tell you what exercise to do. Even when you're walking down the street, you know, you, you might, you, you know, we might have enough information one time in the future to say, look, you know, you're going to go into diabetic shock. You probably should eat a candy bar. There's one around the corner. Um, you know, your favorite, it costs, you know, 24 cents, your favorite candy bar is there, go in there and eat it, or do you want us to call a doctor? It's going to get to that level mm -hmm. where the precision and the amount of information that we collect, we can, we can use AI to grind through it and make really dynamic, on-the-fly decisions like that. It is a fascinating topic to be sure. You can find out more about genetics and Pathway Genomics products. You can go to Pathway.com for that information. Also, their tests are available at Walmart, CVS, and online at Amazon.com. Dr. Michael Nova, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you, it was my pleasure. All right, that's gonna do it for this Newsmax special, looking at genetic testing and the incredible impact it is having on modern medicine. Yeah, thanks for watching.